Good morning guys, welcome back to the farm. In today's video, we're gonna be up potting some of these beautiful cherry tomatoes. Well, snacking tomatoes, I call them snacking tomatoes. Anyway, we're gonna be up potting some of these cherry tomatoes. And I'm gonna give you three tips that's gonna make your tomatoes double in size in less than a week. So stick around. Welcome back guys. The variety that we're working with today is called Mountain Magic and I call them snacking tomatoes simply because they are actually bigger than your average uh, cherry tomato. Now we grow Sun Golds, we grow uh, Super Sweet 100s and we grow black cherry, um, cherry tomatoes here on our farm and we grow a Mountain Magic. Now this tomato here will get almost the size of a golf ball. It's smaller than your regular slicing tomato but it's bigger than your average cherry tomato. And this variety is very popular at the markets that we attend and we try to grow this several um, succession plants throughout the year to make sure we got it on hand throughout all of our markets. And these tomatoes, just like every tomato that we grow, we start them in the smaller trays so we can start more of them number wise and then we up pot them to a bigger container um, so they can actually get a better root base before we put them in the ground. And there's no really script on how we start our tomatoes. It just depends on what trays we've got on hand at the time. This is a 50 cell flat, and this is basically a strawberry flat, that's all it is. And we started these guys in this because I had 100 seeds, and that equal two trays. Now we do start a lot of our seeds in 512s, and you can see this. We have to be real careful with this tray here because it'll dry out really fast if you're not careful. And the, they will get root bound also if you're not careful so you have to pay real close attention to these guys and you know up pot them when you think that they are ready but yeah these guys here are about a week away from needing to be up potted some of them have their true leaves on them but a lot of them are still in the cotyledon stage and you can see there's a lot of tomatoes in there i think i got five or six of these trays that i've got to up pot here in the next week or two so I'm going to go through and I'm going to show you the process that I use to up pot all of our tomatoes. Not just cherries, determinants, indeterminates, heirlooms. All of our tomatoes are up potted the same way. And we generally up pot all of our tomatoes. Now, to get away from having to up pot, you need to start it in a bigger container. And we don't, simply for the reason that we don't have the room to do that. We don't have the room to store a lot of these um, at one time. Like I said, at any given time, there's three or 4,000 tomato plants sitting around here all the time. There's 3,000 in my germination chamber, and there's another 2,000 down here at the back of this high tunnel sitting on the ground. So we don't have a lot of room to do that, so that's why we start them in smaller trays. So that brings me to tip number one. Give yourself plenty of room to grow your transplants out. If you can't get around to putting them in the ground, at the time that you think you will then they need to be able to stay in whatever you're up potting them in now i like to use these egg glue cups because they're cheap one and two that i can reuse them every year simply just wash them out stack them up and put them on the shelf and next year i can do the same thing now this works for peppers this works for eggplant this works for just about everything that you want to up pot there's no real i mean i need to use these or i've got a lot of these trays here these little two inch cups sitting around and you know just something to hold soil more than what is sitting in now that's really all you're looking for so the whole purpose of this video is to show you how we up pot these small tomato plants and you can see i've got one that i pulled out and these these small tomato plants that look like this that were grown in these trays and make them look like this that was grown in the same tray it just hadn't been up potted yet and you know we could leave these guys in here and they would get this size here and we could transplant them straight out into the garden but that's not you generally how we do things these guys here are going in this high tunnel and we will be transplanting these out here really soon probably here in the next two two or three days but these guys will have to actually sit out for a while 
before we can put them in the other high tunnel that we're working on now. So tip number one, give yourself enough room to have a cushion in order that you don't get in a bind and have to up pot them again. Give them enough room that they can grow in here. And these plants, they'll get that tall inside of this container here, a foot or more. And you know, you'll still be in good shape because you've got a lot more soil in here and you can actually fertilize these guys while they're in this cup. All right, so the second tip I'm gonna give you is that we are gonna use the same growing medium that we started these tomatoes in. This is the same soil. It's sterile, there's no amendments or anything whatsoever in this soil. We're actually gonna take two scoops of this and we're gonna put in a five gallon bucket. And there's no real accurate measurement to this, but I take two of those scoops and you can see, and I take a four ounce scoop of garden tone. And you guys know I swear by garden tone. And if you don't know what garden tone is, I'll put a picture of it over here so you can see it. You can get it track supply, you can get it Lowe's, you can get it Walmart sometimes. But I'm gonna take a four ounce scoop, a level scoop, and I'm gonna put in that bucket with those two scoops of soil. And then I'm gonna just take my hands, I'm gonna work that in and mix it up really good. And what this is, is our pre-plant fertilizer. And if you followed our channel enough, you know that I preach that you need to put down pre-plant fertilizer when you can for plants that are heavy feeders like tomatoes, like cabbage, like collars, all these good vegetables. They need a pre-plant fertilizer, something that is not already available in your garden. Give these guys what they need to get a good start. So now we have our mended, our up pot mixture, which is the same mixture it was started in, except for it didn't have any amendments in it. Our seed starting uh, media is sterile, guys. We don't use any kind of amendments, any kind of fertilizer in our seed starting media. And be careful what you're hearing out there, different videos. I'm hearing a lot of guys that's telling people to actually mix fertilizer in their seed start media. And you need to be careful with that, you know. There's a lot of good farmers out there. There's a lot of guys that have some good content on YouTube, but be careful what you're watching out there because there's a lot of stuff out there that can get you in a bind if you're not careful. My advice to you is use a sterile seed starting mix, and I use black gold. I get mine at Tractor Supply. It's OMRI listed. I mean, it's organic. Um, most peat moss is organic, but basically it is sterile. And this is what it looks like. Made by Sun Gold. That's it, that's what I use. And you can see it's armory listed, so it's organic. We can use it here on our farm. No amendments, no fertilizers, no nothing. We put it in there. Each plant, each seed has enough energy to get itself to its first set of true leaves, period. Just naturally, it can do that. Once it gets to this stage is when you need to give it something to feed on. That's what we did in this bucket. So, to recap, Give your plant something big enough to get a good root base in and use a pre-plant fertilizer when you up pot them. Not at planting the seed when you up pot it. And now we're gonna talk about the last step which is to feed your plants once they're established. Now, whenever you up pot a tomato plant, pepper plant, whatever, you're gonna have some level of transplant shock. And that means that plant is just basically gonna stall and it's gonna establish itself, get its roots going back in the you know into the soil trying to run out and find its place in there to basically get established before it starts growing again now um you know all plants do it some do it less than others it just depends on the conditions but once your plant is established and you can tell that it's out of that shock stage you can start feeding it with a either a balanced fertilizer or in our case in tomatoes we want to put on some foliage and get the stalks of this plant a little thicker so once we plant it you don't see them just drooping over like this they come flimsy they look leggy we want plants that are rigid see i can wiggle this thing and see how rigid that plant is that's what i like i like tomato plants that have a backbone to them and to do that before you get blooms on your plant what you want to use is a higher nitrogen fertilizer and in our case since we do plant or fertilize organically we use a chilean nitrate which is what is in this bag here? It's a 1502. It is OMRI listed. It is organic. You can see right here. But it is a natural form of nitrogen that your plant can utilize immediately. It doesn't have to wait for the soil to break it down. Your plants can use this now. And what we do is basically give our tomato plants a bath in this stuff. We sit it in those totes out there. What I use is a, a tablespoon and a half, that scoop right there, 
in five gallons of water. You don't overdo it. So once these plants are young like they are, we take these things and we spoon feed them to get them to look like this. So to start with, we're gonna take this plant and we're gonna water it. Nothing in the water, just water, plain well water. We're gonna water this plant and let it get established. Once we can tell that this plant is actually trying, this, trying to grow, then that's when we're gonna utilize the nitrogen, the organic nitrogen. That's when we're gonna utilize this stuff here in our totes and bottom water these guys and these plants will explode they will literally double in size in a week i promise you all right guys so i got to get busy but check back in with us later this week we're going to be up potting these guys here all of the heirloom tomatoes that we started in trays a couple of weeks ago and if you missed that video i'll put a link to it up here and if you found anything useful anything entertaining or just plain old interested click this subscribe button over here in this right hand corner and as always, guys, we appreciate you stopping by. Thank you for your support, and we'll see you in the next one.